Today we're going to be playing against Beth Bellamy, the number one senior pro in the world. Throughout the video, we're going to go over what makes her so good and how you can apply these skills to your own game. Grab your popcorn and let's go. Make sure to pay close attention because there's a lot of common themes throughout the video. Here we're playing a quick warm up game where all the players begin the point at the kitchen line. As you can see, Beth immediately starts moving her dinks around, trying to get us off balance and create opportunities. She even brings out the lob, which I was able to get with the sky hook. In this point, we're playing the same game and Beth is really demonstrating the importance of patience while dinking. While it can be tempting to speed up the ball, it always makes more sense to stay patient with your kitchen game until you get the right ball to go big on. Once she gets this shot and it's a little higher, she immediately takes advantage of it and goes harder. By targeting her opponent's left foot in her dinks, she's able to get a little pop up which she uses a roll volley on to accelerate down the middle. And right into our first game of the day. One thing you'll notice throughout the video is that whenever Beth gets the opportunity to attack, she always takes advantage of it. Even on balls that are lower, she's consistently putting pressure on us to get us off balance and lure us into hitting a pop up. When we think about the right opportunities to attack, we're generally considering the height of the ball. Although this ball is only in the yellow zone, Beth still saw enough of an opportunity to attack with a roll volley. And here, we see another great example of Beth applying pressure. My first drop is pretty good, which lets me move in. My reset, however, sits up just enough so that Beth can go straight into attack mode. As the returning team, your job is to try and keep the servers back. Even though this volley isn't super high, she's still able to maintain her advantage in the point and prevent us from coming in. Great shot. I remember being really surprised in this point because I didn't expect Beth to have such quick reactions. You can see, as I come in, I immediately start looking for an Ernie. I end up setting it up perfectly, but it's still not enough to get Beth out of the point. One thing I've noticed is that whenever I've played with pros, they always make you hit one more ball. By having her hands up and ready, she's able to react to my Ernie and stay in the point. Here, we're able to make it in and get into a neutral dinking situation. Right when we get comfortable though, Beth goes for a surprise attack with a lob. In my opinion, the lob is something that you should occasionally use to keep your opponents on their toes. Clearly in this point, I was not expecting it, and even though the lob wasn't that high, I still wasn't able to react quickly enough, and they took home the point as a result. All right, and we've traded sides. Right off the bat, Beth uses an aggressive topspin drop to make her way towards the kitchen. And again, right when she gets a little bit higher ball, she uses that aggressive roll volley and sets up Drew to put the ball away. If you haven't noticed already, her mid-height roll volley is highly effective. The topspin really allows her to get good power without sailing the ball long. Here, even after I hit a great drop and reset, Beth immediately puts me under pressure. This is a great example of what you should try to do when you're up and your opponents are moving in. With an aggressive dink, she's able to get me off balance and I can't pull it off. I think the solution for me here would have been to split into a wider base so that I would have had better balance. Because I was still moving forward when she hit the ball, it made it tough for me to react. In this point, nearly the exact same thing happens. We're able to make it in with some good drops and resets, but once we do, they immediately start putting pressure on us with aggressive dinks. By attacking my backhand, Beth tangles up my feet and I pop the ball up. Most players have a tougher time dinking on their backhand, so if you're ever in a dinking war, it's always smart to try and pick on your opponent's weaker side. Moving along, as I try to keep Beth back with roll volleys here, she takes her time and eventually makes it in. This is a good example that if you don't hit your best drop, you shouldn't move forward. It's totally fine to stay back and try to do a better job on the next one. By waiting for the right opportunity to come in, they get themselves into a neutral situation and take control of the kitchen. I see way too many players hit bad drops and go straight to the kitchen only to get crushed with a tough shot. So try to learn from Beth and wait for the right drop to come in off of. I love this point because it really showcases Beth's shot making ability. Like I said, the best players always make you hit one more ball. Here I'm doing whatever I can to finish off the point, but the ball just keeps coming back. Even on this overhead, she's somehow able to drop the ball into the kitchen and make her way back in. I want to highlight her footwork here. See how when she gets under pressure, she immediately takes a step back and gets into our wider base? This position is what allows her to lunge through these shots while staying on balance. We end up getting the point here, but they really made us work for it. Even if you don't get the point in these situations, you're sending a message to your opponents that you aren't going to make anything easy for them. In this point, Beth surprises us with a perfect drive right down the middle. One overlooked thing on drives is that the ball staying low matters more than how hard you hit it. If your drive goes high, then it'll either go long or it'll be easy for the net players to keep you back. Also, by going right down the middle, drive makes me hesitate just enough where I don't react in time. I'm also still moving forward, which makes me a little more off balance. Try some low down the middle drives in your next game and I bet you'll have success. 
Also guys, we're giving away 10 free nets to 10 of our lucky subscribers. To enter, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and head to the link in our description. And make sure to go follow Beth on Instagram so that you can stay tuned for all of our 2023 success. And if you want to learn the skill that makes Ben John so dominant on the Pro Tour, watch this.